Is it true that to gain something of value, one must take a risk? This question has intrigued philosophers for centuries. The dance between risk and reward is a timeless tango, a journey that has been extensively explored by great minds. Consider Socrates, the father of Western philosophy. His practice of questioning everything was a risk, a risk that led him, unfortunately, to his execution. But this very risk also rewarded him with eternal philosophical fame. His courage to challenge the norm, to question the unquestionable, has made him a timeless figure of wisdom and bravery. And then we have Friedrich Nietzsche, who introduced the concept of will to power. Nietzsche believed that life is about taking risks, about asserting one's power, and through that, achieving rewards. His philosophy implies that the road to achievement is paved with the stones of risk. As Nietzsche famously stated, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. The rewards often justify the risks. Our brains are wired to weigh risks and rewards. But how does this psychological process work? Well, the human brain has a fascinating mechanism called the reward system. This system, located in the deep recesses of our minds, is responsible for our decision-making processes. When we consider taking a risk, this system calculates the potential for reward and compares it to the potential for loss. You see, by nature, humans are risk-averse. We are designed to avoid danger and uncertainty. Yet, the promise of a substantial reward can arouse our reward system, overriding our natural instinct to play it safe. It's a delicate balance between the exhilaration of potential gain and the fear of possible loss. However, the lure of a significant reward can be so compelling that it nudges us towards taking risks. It's the thrill of the unknown, the allure of stepping out of our comfort zones. So, psychology tells us that the potential for reward can push us to take risks, despite our inherent aversion to them. The Bible, while not a philosophy or psychology textbook, offers profound insights into the concept of risk and reward. Take the story of David and Goliath, for instance. A shepherd boy, David, against a giant warrior, Goliath. The odds were clearly stacked against David, but he chose to take the risk. And what a reward it was, victory for his people, and eventually, a kingship. Then there's the parable of the talents, where a servant is given one talent, while others receive more. The servant, out of fear, buries his talent instead of investing it, and is harshly reprimanded, while the others, who risked their talents, were handsomely rewarded. These stories serve as powerful metaphors for life. They illustrate how substantial risks can lead to significant rewards. From the Bible's perspective, taking a leap of faith, a risk, often leads to divine rewards.